Hello everyone and welcome to another, well it's not exactly a showcase, but it's rather a tutorial. Uh, this video is about reactor safety instructions. Now you might be thinking, what reactor am I talking about? Because uh, there is no reactor in Sensible Toolbox at the moment, but in Sensible Toolbox 1.1, 1 .1, uh, which is not released yet, but, will, uh, but soon will be, uh, there's a nuclear reactor. This uh, does not appear to be added in Sensible Toolbox itself, but if you have SlimeFun installed and Sensible Toolbox, it's going to create uh, several items for you. Well, that's my quest book. Uh, if, as you can see in the machine section, so there are a lot of cross platform, I guess, machines for Sensible Toolbox and SlimeFun. They are crafted uh, and act like sensible toolbox machines. However, they uh, fulfill tasks for slime fun based actions. So the nuclear reactor, for example, uh, produces a crap ton of SCU. It's the most powerful engine in sensible toolbox, uh, but it requires slime fun to run and it runs on slime fun's uranium. Uh, another thing you can, whoops. Another thing you can see uh, is the electrical grinder. Uh, it works like the grindstone, but powered. Um, and the electrical juicer, like a juicer, but powered. And it's... no. Uh, electrical ore watcher, pretty self-explanatory. Same uh, with the electrical panning machine. However, this one has a bonus of 17% for sifted ore. So if you use this, you're getting way more sifted ore than you will usually get with a normal gold pan. And then there's also the compact smeltery, which is used to smelt slime from dusts into slime from ingots. Uh, for example, lead, copper, all the dust and all the ingots. And then there's also the fruit picker. This one requires sensible toolbox, slime fun, and exotic garden. I'm not going to cover this in uh, this video, but it harvests exotic gardens, bushes, and plants. But this video is about the nuclear reactor. This is uh, kind of complicated device because if you're doing it wrongly it will explode it's a nuclear reactor so what do you expect however i'm just going to uh, show you what happens if you don't cool it properly properly uh, i placed on a nuclear reactor here and it's not cooled if i place in one uranium by the way i'm wearing a hazmat suit so the uranium is not damaging me so i place this into here it's going to explode and it's gone forever uh, so you must make sure it's cooled properly and it knocked out some blocks here or even here so the explosion is pretty far although it seems kind of small but it reaches uh, a long distance so anyway uh, I'm just going to place the nuclear reactor here and it has to be cooled in many ways uh, the first way is that it needs a reactor coolant port in order to uh, insert the coolant cells. The next component is already the coolant cell. Uh, you have to place this in the coolant port. By the way, uh, both recipes can be looked up in the slime fund guide under technical components. Uh, the reactor coolant port is like that. And the coolant cell is just tin sur uh, surrounding packed ice. And you got 16 coolant cells out of this. Uh, yeah, because you need a crap ton of these. I think it's... Oh, I forgot the number. Uh, I'll write it on the dev page once I added it in, but uh, you need a lot of coolant cells per uranium. And yeah, the second coolant it's, it needs uh, is water. It must be surrounded by water entirely. Uh, I'm just going to place some hardened glass from... Uh, slime fun around here so it doesn't well so the water is contained uh, and it also adds uh, adds in another security level because this glass withstands explosions so I'm just going to use world edit here because I'm lazy uh, and I will fill it with that if I could type it correctly I will fill it with water so this reactor should be cooled completely now. If I insert this uranium, you can see it starts burning it up. 
the reactor is running and it produces a lot of SCU per tick. Uh, it's about, I would say, uh, 2000 a second. Yeah, that seems right. I don't know the exact uh, amount of SCU it produces. However, you can hook it up to your energy system and uh, lead it to some energy cells. And yeah, that's how the nuclear reactor has to be cooled. Uh, by the way, the nuclear reactor does not only run on uranium, but when the uranium is burned up, it creates neptunium. And you can use neptunium in the nuclear reactor to power it again. And whoops. And um, when the neptunium is burned up, you get plutonium. The pluton plutonium has no use at the moment. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time. Bye!